Day nine we are. Um, so we're going to be doing predominantly shoulders and triceps uh, today. We're going through the standard protocol exactly as we did yesterday, different to last week where we're doing two straight sets of 10 before we start bringing in the DTP extreme where we replicate the reps uh, with a rest period and or vice versa and doing strip set. Okay, it's the first set and we're prioritizing the rear delts. Uh, today by starting with a rear delt lateral dumbbell exercise on an incline bench here to support the back. So I want to go quite heavy on this without putting too much undue stress on the lower back or trying to stabilize my body. I want to put all my energy into the rear delts. Hence why we're starting with that exercise and using this support uh, to help isolate and keep this exercise controlled. Third set we did 10 repetitions to absolute failure, rested 10 seconds, did another 20. And now I'll rest for about a minute, maybe two minutes, and then kind of pick up those big 35s again. And then drop down to our 20 reps. So you're flushing your type 1, type 2A, type 2B muscle fibers. You're not leaving any stone unturned and you're getting a complete pump in the area. So now when I go through the rest of the shoulder workout, you should be able to feel your rear delts. So we'll do a shoulder press again, like we, you know, we did a shoulder press last week. But I'm going to use a different machine uh, this week. By all means, if you want to use the dumbbells, if you want to use a Smith machine, barbell, whatever you want or whatever is available to you. If you don't have one of these machines that I've got here, uh, you can do so. Oh. So that's our first set of 10. I performed 12 rep repetitions there. If you get to 10, you feel like you could do one more, you could do two more, you could do three more, whatever. You do it, um, just so you can reach absolute failure. Finished off there, really good. Managed to get the reps out. So side raises is our third exercise. I completed 10 repetitions was the guide. I was doing this very strict. When I couldn't do any more, I just did what's called the iron cross. Put your arms out straight, just lock them out and just get a few reps. Just to really completely break down and fatigue uh, the muscle, go beyond failure. Now we're going to move on to the fourth exercise, uh, which will be upright rows. So this will hit the front, it'll hit the rear and it'll hit the lateral. And it'll hit everything, it'll hit a little bit of the traps as well. So it'll be a good overall finishing movement. First set of 10 repetitions here. Uh, on the upright rows, I'm using a neutral grip, neutral meaning about shoulder width apart. So it does target the delts. We'll get a little bit of traps in there as well. So we'll get front, lateral, rear, and our traps. 
If you go really wide, it's going to be more delts, more rear delts. Third set, where we did 10 repetitions of failure, stripped the weight down, did 20. When I'm performing upright rows, whether it's wide, whether it's narrow, whether it's neutral, I never go all the way down until my arms are completely locked out. Because you can stretch out the delts without you straightening your arms. Your range of motion should come from your delts or your back or whatever you're working from, not from your arms. Don't allow full arm extension or a, a flexion there at the bottom. All right, got a good pump. You felt, feel everything now, rear, front, side, lateral, everything. So now we're gonna go hit triceps now, move to another room. Today we're just gonna to stick to cables. I love cables anyway, I get a better contraction overall, I find from them, as opposed to any mass builders like the head smackers, overhead dumbbells, uh, close grip bench, or anything like that. When doing tricep cable extensions, it's very common for somebody to put the whole stack on or go extremely heavy and pull their elbows back and kind of push it down. What I would recommend is, okay, start off like that and then pin your elbows by the side and come right out so you've got a full leverage out in front of you. And what you'll find, not only will you have to go lighter on that exercise, but you will isolate the tricep that much more instantly within say two or three reps. So after you've contracted the muscle straight after the set, you know, when he's squeezing it, you can stretch them out because remember, we're trying to stretch these muscles as much as possible, elongate them so when they uh, go back to normal, they kind of bunch up and it gives you a full around look. Um, we've done our four sets there. Now we're gonna do the same movement, except with a reverse grip. Uh, the reason I like to do that is just to target the rear head a little bit more of the tricep. By reversing a grip, using a different handle, if I use an easy bar, I find there's just a little less stress placed upon my wrists and uh, my elbows. Lying tricep extensions there on a cable, slightly inclined. Um, so we did our first set of 10 repetitions, our second set of 10 repetitions after about a minute rest. And then the third set was the 10 repetitions, rested for 10 seconds, uh, stripped the weight and performed 20, rested for about a minute or so. And then our fourth and final set was exactly the same fashion as we've done everything else. We did the 10 repetitions to failure, stripped the weight after 10 seconds, did 20 reps, and then we rested 20 seconds and performed an extra uh, 10 repetitions. And now we're finished. Now I'm gonna have my post-workout shake, uh, which has basically got the BCAAs in there, the glutamine, uh, their um, leucine and uh, citrulline, and now Basically, we've got the cardio coming up now, so I generally take my uh, pre-cardio formula, which is basically got my green tea, and it's got my uh, carnosine in there as well to help shuttle the fat into the mitochondria, use it as energy, but making sure that we're hydrated, you know? And then once we've done that, remember you have your 300 twists to follow straight after. Keep the skin nice and tight and uh, you should be starting to see some results about now. First week, maybe not so, uh, but then as you enter the second week, halfway through the second week possibly, uh, you should start to feel and see uh, the results. If you don't, then other people around you may.